I know this video is pretty late, but here it is and I hope you enjoy it anyways. So let's get into the trip. First stop in the trip was Erpstair. They make homemade ice cream, meaning that they milk the cows and make the ice cream from scratch. What I find special about this place is though, not how they make the ice cream, but how they milk the cows. The, there's a machine where the cows walk in on their own free will when they want to be milked uh, without any person intervening or anything. We went back on the road and we headed straight to Drangsnes. Uh, this was the first location that we chose to sleep at. The reason why we chose this, because this location is a bit out of the way that we were going, but we chose this location because of the hot tops near the sea. go to the hot tub right now. It's about a seven minute walk, but it's fine. Actually, we well, have here, and the coldest hot tub is the ocean. Here we have our ocean, which is the coldest and hot tub. we have The next day we packed up and we were headed to Ísafjörður, but we wanted to stop on the way in Heidalir where uh, they have like a talking parrot and they have a swimming pool and a restaurant so it would be a good pit stop for us just to eat, go to the swimming pool and relax. Unfortunately when we got there they were cleaning the swimming pool so we couldn't go into the swimming pool so we just decided to keep on going and eat on the way somewhere else. We got to Ísafjörður and uh, we decided just to make everything ready for the night and then just explore a bit. Uh, we went to Bólafjall, which is fairly close to Ísafjörður and it had like some people say that you can see Greenland from Bólafjall but uh, on, as you can see on the pictures that I will be showing you next uh, <laughs> there was going to be no chance for us to see Greenland. One thing to note about this mountain and a lot of mountains in this region, like the West Fjords, is that the roads are a bit dangerous, especially in the winter time. So you can see like how narrow the roads are and you're just going up sheer cliffs, like it's so steep. And at one point where we were turning, we could see that the railing was all bashed in. 
from a car probably sliding down the hill. Luckily we had a pretty good car to go both up the mountain and to go down it. When we got back to the campgrounds, we just decided just to relax, have a couple of drinks and maybe play some games and then wake up early the next morning. We started the day early and we went straight to Holtsbrygge. Uh, Holtsbrygge is kind of like cinematic Instagram-y place where you have this wooden pier uh, overlooking the ocean with the yellow sand and almost like aqua blue water. But the thing about like the West Fjords are almost the only place in Iceland where you will find yellow sand. Everywhere else you'll find black sand beaches and so yellow sand beaches for us is kind of special well it's probably the opposite to everyone else coming to Iceland For our third and fourth night, we stayed at this place called Thinkiri. Now, we were kind of like doing this trip both to see the land and also as a vacation. So we're not like stressing too much of going to different locations every night. But this was the only night where we stayed two nights. Now, there are a couple of reasons for that. Uh, first reason was that uh, the Viking or Vikingur, which is my friend, the tall one, uh, he grew up there and his family is from from this uh, from this small town. Uh, the second reason was that uh, on our second day there was like a concert. So we kind of wanted to see that. Now you can see that we are parking behind the warehouse. Uh, there's a reason for that. There was a tournament like cycling and running tournament that weekend that we kind of didn't know of. We knew of it when we started our trip, but we hadn't planned for it. The campgrounds were completely full. So uh, my friend Viking, he asked around, uh, asked some of his friends and, and family if we could stay behind this warehouse. We got the green light and the good thing about this warehouse is that it was so close to the campgrounds that we could get into the electricity that's located on the uh, on the campgrounds. And the good thing about that is that we can keep our refrigerator on and everything like that. So it worked out kind of perfect and, and we were kind of like in nobody's space and we could play some music if we wanted to. <laughs> 